Welcome back to Bon Voyage Cruise Travel, your trusted source and go-to channel for all things cruise related. Have you just stepped off the brilliance of the seas or some other cruise line at the Sydney's Overseas Terminal and wondering about the best way to get to the airport? Let me guide you through an easy and efficient train journey from Circular Quay to Sydney Airport. Along the way, I'll share essential tips including convenient luggage storage solutions to make your post-cruise travel smooth and stress-free. Discover how simple navigating Sydney's public transport can be. Let's get started. Very beautiful here in Sydney. So this is the walk just from that terminal there. People are walking just right down to here and straight ahead is the train station. It's over that way somewhere. It's pretty easy. They say it's a 17 minute walk but I think it's closer than that. But we're at the overseas passenger terminal. There are all kinds of buses and taxis to take you to the airport. There's a um, bus right there. And the man just told me they're getting ready for peak season, so it's their spring. So it's beautiful weather, 9 a.m., but it's not a bad walk. It's really very centrally located. But yeah, the rail station's there. There's a lot of people, I mean, they're trying to spend a day here before they are night flight. And that red-roofed restaurant, it's a 24-hour restaurant, that's where you can check in your luggage, but you have to make a reservation ahead of time. called Bounce. There's an app. Or look it up online. It's eight dollars a bag. They'll take it for the day and then you can just go explore. So it's a nice way to get rid of things and it's a lot less than the, the cruise ship. Station area. You can buy your tickets here and then you can take a, it's like a tram that takes you around. There's transport information over here to ask if you didn't, don't know where you're going. So this is the metro system and it looks like this is the airport. And here's a public transport map. So platform two is to the airport. So just so you know, to get to the airport, you see the T over there, it's upstairs, it's number eight, and it goes every five to 10 minutes. And you can just use your credit card as at the entrance to the um, turnstile, and apparently it will let you right in. And you go up to level two, they cost 20 Australian dollars, which is a little, like $12, I think, our money. So you want to take the T8 MacArthur and it goes domestic and international. This is the terminal, it's nice and clean. There's a, an elevator this direction. Let's go see what it's like. So traveling solo can be a little tricky. This uh, platform right here, the escalator, or the, I'm sorry, the lift is closed. So I have all this luggage, my luggage here. And I am trying to go up an escalator. I, so I'm like, I talked to someone, he said, oh, it's just broken, you have to just do it. And I thought, well, how, how am I gonna do this? But <laughs> He said, he finally decided that he could help me, so he helped bring a bag up. Otherwise, I would have been stuck. I don't know what I would have done. But this is where you go. I, I don't understand this because I use my credit card to get in. I guess I use my credit card to get out. There's a whole map of like what's going on. The T8 right here, the MacArthur one, is the one I use. This is the one you need to get, you need to get off here. That's where you would go. It says, catching the train up at the gate to pay for your fare and then you go up to the airport so you could do this in reverse as well someone was saying an uber is about 30 dollars but i thought it was more than that so this was exactly 20 minutes from circular key and this is an interesting place it is so empty compared to i, I just expected it to be busier but this is it and there's my lift to the airport right there have found this valuable or helpful in any way please hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing very um, uncrowded big food port before security so it's really nice I just bought some chocolate because now I can I have room I'm so relieved about this there are all kinds of shops here 
and food. So lots of food. This is just a sampling of some sandwiches over here. There are tons of duty-free things here. I just picked up some Australian cookies and there's lots of makeup and yeah, liquor. And just all kinds of things. Security was a little bit intense. They did one of these shoe search things on me, but other than that, it was fine. This is what you can find here though. It's like a mall almost. It's like an actual department store here. Lots of pretty things. We have a Louis Vuitton store here. And then local food. I made it to the lounge here. It's really nice. And there's the skyline. I'll be doing a playlist on the brilliant of the seas and my experiences and trials and tribulations of traveling solo once more. And so just stay tuned. I do appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. And until next time.